What's the YouTube? It's Bush360 back at it again another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be telling you what to do after a washing style. I did a washing style last night. I let it dry overnight, and then I'm here the next day making this video for you guys, telling you guys what to do after a washing style. Well, first off, you wanna come out your rag. If you got a rag on, come out your rag. Let me come out the rag. And I have not put no product on my hair. I have not put nothing in my hair since the washing style. Let it air dry. This is my first time coming out the rag. And I'm going to be basically doing what I do after the washing style. So if you guys want to take notes or or brush with me or just, just take notes. When I mean by take notes, I don't mean literally take notes. But you know, you get what I'm saying. Like take notes and just watch. That way you know what to do when after your washing style. And this could go for beginners. People that, that, that just started waving. People that want to know about waves. People that that's probably that been waving that just want to know a new like a new um what's that like a new tip a new tip to learn what to do after washing style so let's come out the wave cap I'm fresh out the wave cap let me show you all my waves show you all my waves fresh out the wave cap no products in my hair at all we fix them corners no products in my hair at all I'm gonna wake that hairline up that's what you wanna do that's what I do alright so with that being said I'm fresh out the wave cap you feel me so y'all probably like okay what do I do next what's the next step um, I don't know what to do after a washing style. I just put all that hard work into a washing style what do I do next well the hard work is it isn't completely over yet Basically, what you want to do is you want to grab if you like I had if, like I said if your hair is long enough comb first. My hair is really not that long enough yet, so I'm not gonna comb. But for those that's hair that's a little thicker than mine's or longer than mine's, you want to comb first. And then after you comb, you want to pick up your medium brush, medium soft brush or soft brush, whatever brush you want to pick up, and you want to comb. I mean, you want to brush. That way, you want to wake your hair up. You want to wake everything up. You want to wake everything up. Where you apply anything to your hair, you want to just brush natural. And then after you brush, you want to apply some product in your hair, whatever you use, because you just did a washing style, so your hair is kind of, I ain't gonna say it's dry, because it might be still a little moist, but it's basically dry. You feel me? So you want to apply some product in your hair. I'm going to apply some double butter cream moisturizer in my hair so my hair could be moist because it's currently nighttime right now. So I want my hair moist, moist when I go to sleep type thing. And you feel me? So I'm going to apply a little bit of this double butter in my hair. And I'm going to brush my hair until I feel like my hair is evenly distributed with the um with the product in my hair. And it's, it's, just, it's just evenly. So you want to put it... So moisturizing your hair, uh, apply it, uh, that way your hair won't be so dry man, I need to at least moisturize your hair at least twice a day, at least, you feel me, like, cause you don't want your hair to be dry and stuff, like that's not good, it's not healthy for your waves, so you want to apply a little bit of that moisturizer to soften it up, to smooth it out, you feel me, and you see it kind of gave my hair a nice little shine too, it'll look a little darker. Notice that every time you guys put like moisturizer or something in your hair, your hair looks like a, a little bit darker. Just a little bit because your hair is so dry. And I'm not going to say it's ashy, but it's, you know, it's dry and stuff. So you need to apply that, you need to apply that moisturizer in your hair. You feel me? Now after you apply that, you want to pick your, you want to pick your medium brush back up. And go heavy with a brush session in. Make sure you brush it even, 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 even the, the dill butter, you feel me, through your hair. And just even everything out. You want to brush it. Brush, 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 brush. Don't forget that back, man. The back is just as important as the top of this. You want to brush. You want to brush, man. You want to brush. Boom. Now, as you can see, my hair is already softening up. And it's, it's pretty much laid down. Not over curling, my hair is not that long to over curl, but it's pretty much laid down. Pretty much. And this brush session feels good because I just applied some of that butter to my scalp, you feel me? So it got my hair pretty much nice and smooth. Woo! 
y'all can see, I want y'all just to really, really pay attention how fast my waves coming in. Today makes four weeks since I scouted, since I cut all my hair off. Today makes four weeks, yep. Today makes four weeks. And my waves are coming in faster than ever. Faster than ever. I'm telling y'all, just do what I do. Watch my videos. Watch all my videos. Watch from the beginning to the end. And I promise you, you're going to feel motivated. And you're going to want to pick up that brush. Because I don't just tell y'all to brush. Anybody can tell you to brush. But I, I want to motivate you. I want to get you to pick up that brush. I want you to start like just feeling more motivated. That's, that's, that's what I'm here for. That's what my channel is here for. To uplift you. And just how y'all going, man. Pretty much. You want to brush, brush, brush. Brush, brush, yes sir, yes sir, woo, mm-hmm, yes sir, and this is what I do after washing stuff, like I told y'all, fly that double butter, I go crazy with the brush session in, it's so crazy man, don't stop, just brush, just keep brushing, don't stop, don't stop. You feel me? Do not stop. Do not stop. Oh yeah, this is much better anyway. Yes, sir. This is much better. Yes, sir. And then after you go ham with that brush session, then you want I like doing the ham at the also on just just following it right behind it. Following it right behind it, trying to smoothen it, smoothen it, smoothing everything out. Use the curved brush so I can hit my crown up because with that other brush, this brush, it's not really a crown brush. It's more like a fork breaker and more of just a, like a, like, just like, just like more of like right here brushing, side brushing. It's not really, really, you can use it for your crown, but it's really hard to use for a crown because look at it. It's not really a crown brush. This has a pointy air so you can use this as the crown just that part on the brush to use your crown work this you got to kind of like angle it but at the same time you don't really want to use this to work in your crown you feel me it's a good brush but you don't really want to use it to work in your crown i'd rather use this prefer this this um curve brush to work on my crown type thing so it's like we finna do a little bit of crown work just a little bit a little bit of crown work not too much of it, just a little bit, a quick little crown work. You know, the crown needs its own, its own space, its own brush session. That's what the crown needs. It needs its own brush session. It needs its own space. Its own space. Well, that being said, you want to basically get that brush session in. You feel me? And then after you get that brush session in, you feel me? You want to hit it with your hand real quick. Uh, 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 uh. Hit with the hand method. I already, I, I I go for a long brush session. Like I told y'all, I break my brush sessions up. Like I get them all throughout the day. So I'm not going to sit here and go a full hour brush session after the washer style. What you want to do? You want to go crazy after. But I, I break mine up all throughout the day. All throughout the day. So it's like, you feel me? I already got previous brush sessions in already that adds up to this progress. So with that being said, man. That's basically what you want to do after a brush, after a washing style. Like I told y'all, y'all want to just after after you come out the rag, you want to comb. If your hair is long enough to comb, then you want to brush your hair a little bit. Then you want to distribute a, some moisturizer or oils or pomade, whatever you have. Brush that. Go 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 with a crazy brush session in. Go crazy. When I mean go crazy, go crazy. After that, you want to use a uh, um um. Your hand method, or you want to use a plastic bag just to lay any fuzz down your little hairs that's sticking up, or a soft brush that helps too. But the plastic bag helps ten times better, and the hands help ten times better. You feel me? But after you do all that, you want to rag up, and then you could go. You feel me? Rag up, say the progress, and then go for another brush session later on. Like, like these people got it. Like with the wave game, people think that oh, once I get a brush session, then I'm ragged up for the night and I'm done. You're not done. You can you get as many as brush sessions as you want. You can keep going as you want. But with that being said, man, it's 8 Booster 6 Me. Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. You feel me? With that being said, this is the this is the what to do after a washing style. If y'all need any videos y'all need me to touch base on, just comment and let me know. But with that being said, man, it's 8 Booster 6 again. We out.
kind of rushed it, but 